Father, we say thank you. We worship your holy name. Almighty God, we bless your holy name. We return the glory, the honor, and adoration to you. The King of Kings. Everlasting Father. The mighty man in battle. Mama Sheke Lirara. I am that I am. Our power, our strength, our benefactor. That we bless you all today. You are worthy to be praised. Shekinah glory, we thank you. The over Sekeno, we thank you. El Shaddai, we thank you. Omnipotent and omnipresent God, our Father in heaven, I am that I am. Our Father, our Father, our Father, we bless you already. Thank you, Father. For everything that pertains to our life, we say thank you. We magnify your holy name, Father. Father, in your infinite mercy, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. My name is G.A. David from Richmond Hill, Canada. By the special grace of God, I'm here again today to bless you with the word of God, to empower you, to strengthen you, to propel you in the name of Jesus. It is well with your soul and everything that pertains to your life in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, God inhabits the praises of his people. What does that mean? God lives in the praises of his people. It is well in Jesus' name. I take my text from the book of Psalm 100, verse 1 to 5. Psalm 100, verse 1 to 5. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, O you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving. Wow! And into His court with praise. Be thankful to Him and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy and is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Wow. What a glorious God. I'm just here by the special grace of God talking on the topic which I title The Power of Praise. The power of praise. I want to let you know, or let me say, let me first ask you a question before I elaborate this. Have you thanked God today? How many times have you thanked God today? The Bible says, be thankful to Him. Bless His name. Hallelujah. How many times have you thanked him today? How many times have you acknowledged him today? How many times have you praised him today? The Bible says, give thanks in all circumstances. 
Do you know there is power in praising God? There is power in acknowledging God. There is power in appreciating God. Either he has done what you are believing him for or not. It is very essential, very, very important for you to keep praising him. There is power in that praises. That's why the Bible says God in that be the praises of his people. That means God lives in the praises of his people. Hallelujah. When you are praising God, you are, you know, you are opening the door of breakthrough. You are opening the door of deliverance. You are opening, you know, you are creating atmosphere, you know, for the release of what you are believing God for. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it said, Without faith, no man can please the Lord. Know that he is God and it, he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You cannot be praising God when things are going on you know, the way you never wanted. When things are not going on smoothly, you cannot be praising God unless you are a man of faith. And the Bible says, God did let with all men according to the measure of their faith. And you cannot, you know, and the Bible now says, in the book of Hebrews 11, verse 6, it says, without faith, no man can please the Lord. That means, there is nothing you can do to please God unless you have faith in Him. And He said, Know that He is God and is the reward of those who, who diligently seek Him. And that is to tell you that there is no how you can be praising God when He has not done where, where, you know, what you are believing Him for without faith. That means it is, all, it is faith that can make you, that can empower you, prompt you, energize you, you know, give you ability, capability, strength to be praising God in time of trial or when God has not answered your prayer or when God has not delivered what you are believing Him for. But I want to tell you that there is power in that precious massacre. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is power in acknowledging God. There is power in praising Him, in thanking Him. Hallelujah. The Bible says, you know, make a joyful noise to the land, you know, to the Lord, O ye lands. Come before His presence with singing. Hallelujah. You have to appreciate God. This, you know, Chapter uh, verse 4 says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. You need to know how powerful praising God is. When you know that it is, you know, if you know the, the power, the weight, the praise, the praise is carrying, you will not want to you know, want to miss minute by praising God. When you know the power that, that praises carry, trust me, you, you will not want to afford to be praising God all day long, every moment. It's very important. Sometimes I know that sometimes situation may want you know may want to make you look weary of faith. Don't condemn yourself. Don't feel you are too weak or you are not or you you are you are unable to maintain your standard in Christ. I want to open your eyes to something. The Bible says, "Let the weak say, He is strong." If if the Bible can say, let the weak say he's strong, that means he knows that someone can be weak in some, you know, 
you know, you know, it's sometimes it happens sometimes that you may want to feel weak. Hallelujah. But in the midst of that weakness, in the meek, you know, in the midst of that faint thing, if you are capable, if you know the power that the presence is carrying, you will continue to be praising God. Which with that will give you strength in order to be able to revive from that fainting or, or, or weakness. The Bible says, Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Even though when the situation looks as if you want to be weary or you want to be fainting, if you have the key and you know the power the presence is carrying, you will still keep thanking God. You still keep appreciating God. Even though maybe situation you get to this, you know, to, to, the, to the point that you, are, you don't know the kind of prayer you want to offer anymore. It happens sometimes. Like I said yesterday, we are living, walking on, on, on unstable terrain. So sometimes situation may want to bring the heat of life. But I want to let you know, any, no matter any situation on the face of the earth, no, no any situation that comes your way to destroy you. God will never allow something to destroy you. No, believe that. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 29 verses 11, God says, For I know the thought that I have towards you, the thought of peace, not of evil, to give you hope and a future. So God has a beautiful plan for you. When any trial or challenge comes your way, it doesn't come, the challenge doesn't come to destroy you. You have to know that. If you know that you have you have an, you know, you have another strength in you. You know, you you know, you should know that that no trial, no heat of life, no challenges that will come your way to destroy you. God will never allow anything that will destroy you or that will overpower you or that will, that is beyond your ability or your or your capability. Hallelujah. God knows what you are going through. In the time of trial, He understands. He knows what you are going through. That's why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 15. It says, For I Hebrews 15, verse 4. He said, For uh, for for we do not have a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of, of our infirmity. He said, In no point he was tested as well, yet without sin. So that is, to, that is telling you that when we, are, when we are going through challenges, God knows about it. But you have to stand your ground. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven sovereign violent. And the violent take it by force. How do I mean? When there's trial, that is why you should know that trial or test of time is, you know, it's not coming to destroy you because you are the temple of God and you can never be destroyed. So, but immediately or any moment that trial or challenge comes your way, the, you know, heaven is suffering as well because, you know, you are the temple of God. That's what the Bible says from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven sovereign violent and the violent must take it by force. You know, one of the keys to take it is praise. If you know the power that praises carry, you will know that it's very essential for you to keep praising God every moment. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to be very, very careful and you have to understand that it is very important for you to know the power the praises carry. I'm just here to let you know that it is very important for you to keep appreciating God every moment, in any situation, in any challenges. When you are praising God in time of trial, it honors God, it, you know, it honors God most. 
you know, it values God most. God appreci- God appreciate that because that is that is to prove your sonship, your you know, to prove your 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 your, your true sonship. Keep appreciating God. There is power in praising God. And there is breakthrough in praising God. There is deliverance in praising God. You know, I just want you to lay, I, 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 I want you, I, I want you to know. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Said in no point tested as we are yet without sin. I know sometimes situation may want to make some people may want to make you, you know, even feel as if you don't know the kind of prayer to offer anymore. Do you know what you just be doing? Just keep saying thank you, Jesus. It is very important for you. I just want you to know the power in that praise. When you know the power in praising God. Hallelujah. It's just as if somebody promised you something. Somebody promised you something, but that person has not done it. Yet, you have not rebelled against that person. Even when he has done it, you keep appreciating that person. You, you know, that person will be prompt, you know, will be, you know, will be, will be triggered. Will be prompted to do it. Even beyond what he's supposed to do. Not to talk of our God. Who knows what you want. Who is ready to bless you. Who is ready to strengthen you. Who is ready to take you higher. Who is ready to increase you physically, spiritually. But you need to keep appreciating God. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, in any circumstances. You know, I know what I'm talking about. I know some people there may be going through some things that may, may want to, you know, that may want to make them feel weary of faith. Or that may not, you know, that may not want to make them, you know, in order not to know the kind of prayer to offer. Like I said, I know that situation. I know and I understand. But in that situation, keep thanking God. I don't know the situation you have. I don't know the situation. I don't know what you are going through. But I want to let you know that there's power in praising God. It is very, very powerful and it is it is enduring. If you can be praising God through that, you know, there's deliverance, there's breakthrough, there's blessing in praising Him. There's power in praising God. Please adopt this. Accept this. Put it to practice. Even when things are not going on the way you want it, when things are not rosy, when things are not, you know, are not, you know, going, are not going the way you wanted it to go, please keep thanking God. If you can be thanking God, the Bible says when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream dream. Hallelujah. When the Lord will bring back the captivity, when the Lord will show face, when the Lord will return all your lost, trust me, it will look as if you are dreaming. The Bible says, I will return unto you the year the locust has eaten the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the parma worm. Keep praising God. Keep appreciating Him. It's enduring. It's powerful. It is, you know, it is blessful. It is very powerful. It's full of power. It's full of breakthrough. It's full of blessing. You only need 
to keep appreciating God in any circumstances. Put it to practice and God will help you. And you will have every reason to, go to give more of testimony very soon in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are hearing the sound of my voice, I pray for you. I release unto you blessing from heaven in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, the blessings of God that make it rich that had no sorrow. Such blessing, I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Blessings of God that make it rich that had no sorrow. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Grace to be able to be thanking God in time of trial, in any circumstances, in any position, in any area, in any way. Release, I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Take the grace in Jesus' name. Be graced. Be blessed. Be empowered. I overshadow you with the mercy of God. Mercy of God will speak for you. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Whatsoever you lay your hand on will be blessed. You will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be empowered in the name of Jesus. Be elevated. Be delivered. Be liberated. Be set free and do exploit in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. And you are blessed. You know, sometimes when, when things are not going the way we want, you know, sometimes it may be, you know, it may be challenging, I know. It may be challenging and uh, it may want to make people weary or even some people may look focused and I don't want that to be your portion, you know. When things are not going out the way you want, that is the, that is the time that you have to, 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 to seek the face of God the more, to pray the more, to fast the more, to appreciate God more. To keep thanking him. If you keep doing this, trust me. If you put this to practice, and I pray Almighty God will give you the grace to be putting it to practice, to be acting upon the word of God, to keep appreciating God in any situation. Trust me, when the Lord brought by the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream dream. So shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. When the Lord back, when the Lord will bring all your captivity, all your lost, it will look as if you are dreaming. And so shall it be very soon in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. And um and, and I want you to share this message with other people. I like to share this message with other people. Let other people be blessed as well. Let other people be blessed as well. Let other people be blessed as well. You are blessed as you are doing that in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, if you like to hear more of this message, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, Regain Global TV, and on Facebook, GA David Ministry. By the special grace of God, we shall be meeting next week, Wednesday, with brand new episode. By the special grace of God, if our Father carries in coming, I pray Almighty God will continue to be blessing his word the more in the midst of your heart. Till then, stay in faith and remain blessed. Shalom. <laughs>